Hi there. Recently there have been some big changes to the cold mailing world. Google imposed new recommendation for mass senders, then Yahoo quickly followed up, and suddenly all the spam filters are getting more and more strict. After all, landing in the spam folder is still the biggest deal breaker in successful cold email campaigns. So, have those changes impacted your outreach? If so, does it mean the recommendations for good senders have changed? Is there a new definition of what the best deliverability practices are? Well, to check that, let's review why your cold emails might go to spam in 2024. If you are doing cold mailing, then you probably know how dangerous landing in the spam folder is. It means your messages do not reach the primary inbox of your prospects, which also means your prospects probably never see them. And the worst part, you might not even be aware of landing in spam. That's why we call it a silent killer for your cold email efforts. Eventually, not only your campaigns can be underperforming, but a deteriorating reputation can also lead to being suspended or blocked by your email service provider. Now, back to the initial question, why do you end up in the spam folder at all? In 2024, the universal rules still apply, but there are also some new adjustments worth making. First and foremost, your reputation. If it's low, you will end up in the spam folder. Your sending reputation is basically how the receiving end, meaning your recipients, their providers and spam filters, perceive you and your message. And their perception is based on your past and current sending practices. You cannot start any outreach without building up a proper reputation. This should be done with a thorough and careful warm-up process. I know you're eager to start the outreach as soon as possible. I know that your clients might often be impatient, pressuring you to run the campaigns and bring them the results right away. But no mailbox can perform well without warm-up. Remember, warm-up is nothing else than building trust. And building trust takes time. That's non-negotiable. Every single domain you use for outreach should be properly configured. Without security and authentication records, such as SPF, DKIM, and lately also DMARC, not only do you negatively affect your deliverability, but also damage your reputation. We have detailed guides on each one of those records, so if you're just about to set them up, feel free to do so with our help. Once you have them, wait until the settings propagate and check whether they are recognized as correct. No need to use any external tool. Woodpecker performs the checkup for you. Even with the proper reputation and configuration, you might still end up in the spam folder if you exceed the safe sending limits. Do not send tons of emails without thinking about the deliverability. Don't go for that spray and pray approach. Do not try to counteract your low open rate by sending even more messages. The more you send while having low engagement, the more your reputation will deteriorate. And as we already covered, low reputation means your emails go to spam. We generally recommend around 50 emails per mailbox per day. That's because such an amount could still be sent by a human naturally, and you want to stay away from appearing like you use automation. Only if your reputation is good and engagement high should you consider going up with the volume. So, with only 50 emails per mailbox, you may be asking, how can I scale my outreach? Well, right now the trend is to create more mailboxes and more domains. But if managing many mailboxes becomes a headache, that's where our tool comes into play. Woodpecker allows you to use multiple inboxes in one campaign, with a feature called Inbox Rotation. Your campaign will automatically spread the sending among all the chosen email addresses without overloading a single mailbox and going over the recommended limits. That's a fantastic workaround for being able to scale while keeping it safe. What you send also matters. You can use a warm mailbox with all the authentication records and safe sending limits and still end up in the spam folder. So, how to prevent that? How to make sure that your content is not the reason for landing in the spam? Firstly, avoid spam words. They are still relevant, even though some may claim they are not. Don't overload your email. Not all your social media links have to be in the copy. Don't use too many images or GIFs. Sure, your email should grab the attention of your recipient, but the simpler it is, the better for your deliverability. You need to find a middle ground here, but how do you do that? Well, by testing. Woodpecker allows you to come up with up to five different versions of the same email in your campaign. 
By testing different parts of your content, you can see which copy performs best, not only in terms of deliverability, but also in terms of engagement, meaning open, click and reply rate. And yes, if you track opens and clicks, make sure to use custom tracking domains. We have a great guide on that. Once you come up with multiple versions of the same email, make sure to check if you may trigger spam filters. Use our built-in spam checker and spam word finder to verify if there are any soft spots in your copy, like unnecessary spam word, broken link, or salesy, money-oriented language. Finally, what you send and how you send it is crucial, but who you send it to matters as well. Always use a well-targeted prospect list. The higher the quality of your list, the better the results. You should always know who you are targeting and contacting. Again, the spray and pray approach is not the best decision. Go for quality, not quantity. Even with all the deliverability precautions, if you contact a random free email address, which unfortunately is also a frequent complainer, your message will end up in the spam folder anyway. This negatively affects your reputation. The same reputation which will later on cause you to bounce off a fantastically targeted potential lead. Don't waste such opportunities due to bad sending practices. Safe but effective cold outreach is always a challenge. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes some knowledge, skills and copywriting talent. But if you stick to the right rules and prove yourself to be a good sender following the best practices, that effort and time will be rewarded with a high reply rate. And at the end of the day, that's all it matters. Make sure to be rewarded sooner than others and choose a tool which will help you with deliverability and reputation. Choose Woodpecker. Oh, and by the way, I've got some videos on those authentication records I was talking about. These acronyms may seem totally uninteresting, but they are crucial for your deliverability. So why not check them out at once? We've got plenty more resources on reaching the best results. So what are you waiting for? Check our channel, hit the subscribe button and stay up to date with the latest trends and tips in the cold mailing world. Thank you.